love to get your thoughts on Cal's complicated journey. Oh man, I think Cal enters the story like so sure of who she is and who she wants to be and who she feels like she's predestined to be. But I think Cal is all of us in the sense that certain things just introduce themselves into our lives and, and change our way of thinking. You know, I always bring it up, I use the analogy, it's like going to college for four years to be a doctor and then falling in love with pottery. <laughs> that is true to themselves and certain to an extent but still is open to evolving and changing and I think that's important you know that we change and we allow ourselves the space to change and grow. Shout out to Cal. I'm curious about how much you knew about the lesbian vampire sort of lore like were you familiar with like Carmilla for instance which is kind of your fandom predecessor. Like when I the role, our producer Kara Price sent it over to me, so I read it before filming, and, but that was my first... Right, you read the book. I read it, I read it, <laughs> I read the... did you the, watch the, the series? I did not. I'm so sorry. Am I, gonna be <laughs> I feel terrible. <laughs> oh no. Well, this one was super fun. fun. <laughs> Predecessor Carmilla. Not in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm scared of everything. So like anything with like scary stuff or like vampire stuff, I was like, stay away. Okay. Well, that's because I'm scary. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Well, how about this? Were you familiar with Buffy? inspiration in, in that in that connection well I mean I, well first off with Buffy in general I felt like when I was auditioning for Juliet and with this whole Buffy aspect to the story I mean Sarah Michelle Geller plays Buffy and I was like Sarah Catherine Hook has to play <laughs> <laughs> it is written in the stars <laughs> really saw the Buffy. I didn't, no, I guess it's because I was filming so much of the vampire part of it, like you probably felt more of it while you were filming, cause like, yeah. you know, we had our, a lot of days where we were in our families, mm -hmm. you know. So, um, but yeah, once watching it, was, I, I definitely saw the Buffy in the show. Yeah, I feel like, weirdly enough, I think First Kill is just something of its own. And I think our dynamic and Jules and Cal's dynamic is so, it just was so organic. Yeah. and so authentic in its own way that I feel like it was a story I've never heard before. Right. I saw a lot of similarities, but I feel like right. nothing it's one compares. Of the kind. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's totally why you've got all these folks here. Yeah. <laughs> Were you prepared <laughs> for this? <laughs> did, you, did you get to sit down? So I, I asked this to anyone who's played a queer character that's made a, a big impact. Did, you, did anyone sit you down and say, okay, this is gonna be a lot, it's gonna be awesome, it's gonna, you're gonna have fans that are like super excited about this. Did anyone prepare you? And also it's, like, it's a responsibility in a lot of ways to play a, a character like this. Um, well, we would speak to like KP, that's Kara Price, she was, uh, she's one of the producers. She's like, you guys don't even know. She was like, you're not even you ready. Not ready. <laughs> you have no idea. I was like, yeah. everyone calm down. Right. And now everyone has to tell me to calm down. Right. <laughs> yeah, I super minimized like Dude. how grand this would yeah. be to like save myself. Yeah. So, yeah. So, no, we definitely, we like were prepared, but we weren't at, at the same time. Yeah. I mean, how do you prepare yourself for something like this? Right. <laughs> when did you first like realize it? Like how soon after, after the show came out? Like I felt it immediately. Yeah, like the night it came out. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, no, someone asked me that earlier, and I was like, truly, the second it dropped, somehow yeah. everyone, some people watched all eight episodes in five minutes. Yes. <laughs> and, oh, no. Probably only certain parts of it. I, I, I didn't. I was so confused. I was like, I'm, 
I was like doing the math too. I was like, I don't think there have been enough hours for me to have seen the whole series yet. So yeah. it was amazing. Sure. It's been crazy. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> what does this fan support meant to you? Oh, the world. Literally everything. We love you guys so much. <laughs> we love you so much, it's like unhealthy. Yeah, no, <laughs> truly, it's unhealthy. And I um I keep saying this, but like I just don't know if like I'll ever will ever have like fans like you guys. Like yeah. in just the way. Like there was something about her that she'd never seen in another 16 year old before. And, and, and she just was the, the whole package, you know? Like, I, 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 but then I also think that there, I would have loved to, for this to have been explored in the future, but um, just a, like maybe there was some sort of cosmic connection between them because of their history or their family history. 